Hey, I'm Heather. And I'm Tim. Oops. And this is the <laughs> Cooper's Camper Chronicles. Um, so we're starting a video vlog about um, our new change of lifestyle. Um, one that we're starting because um, the normal one that we were living uh, wasn't really working very well for us. We um, have been, for the last couple of years, just feeling more and more just um, tired. And um, this is Jane. Um, we have four kids. She's number three. three. Um, the other two are on tablets, so we can do this upstairs and the other one's sleeping the youngest Rachel we'll introduce them later so we um, have been praying and ask God, asking God you know what can we do differently um, because we're burning out like this is not working um, and we were um, talking about maybe the, the goal was to get Tim to stop working at his current job um, to do his woodworking full-time um, because that is his passion and um, and we were like okay well the only way that we can see that happening is by downsizing so we thought about doing a um, tiny house or something along those lines um and um then our, but we both were like but i love our house i love where we're at i love our fenced in yard i love the pocket doors in our house like there's just like a lot of aspects about our house that we really love and so we didn't really want to give that up so that was one night and went to bed the next morning and then um, I was on my way to go get groceries and I felt like God was saying um, asking me if I was willing to give up the house in order to have Tim and I felt like that was like a legit question because up to this point I hadn't been willing to give up our house um, and when I surrendered the house, um, things kind of started just snowballing. They, they started falling into place. Um, and we decided then that evening we talked about different, um, what could we do? Could we move into a tiny house or, you know, could we move into a, just a camper or, you know, just, or, or a bus? And um, we didn't really have any answers, and we finally decided on the camper idea because we liked the idea of being able to travel. Um, we have a spoon gathering that we like to go to in Milan, Minnesota, where people who have a passion and a love for carving and handmade things, um, they gather together and um, and so we love to be there. We, we love those people. Um, and so, yeah, we decided to do a camper. So this is the Cooper's Camper Chronicles. This is our new life. It's gonna start on Tuesday. Today is Sunday, November 24th, and tomorrow is Tim's, stop please. Tomorrow is 2019. Oh yeah. Tomorrow is Tim's last day at work. He works at um, an appliance repair place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, so, yeah. But what needs to happen in our camper? We were living in it um, for about a week um, because it was fall here and it wasn't too cold. It was pretty decent. We had a we have a heat pump um, on our camper, which was working really well. But 
then it dropped below 30 degrees and it stops working after that. Um, so we were using our propane tanks to heat the camper and we realized that it was um, not monetarily wise to heat the camper with propane and heat a house. So we moved back into the house. Um, and so there's a few things that need to be done to tweak the camper for our life. Um, and that is, you want to tell them? Yeah, um, the camper we have, we'll probably do a tour later once we've got it finished up, but there's, um, it's mostly how we'd like it, but um, the cabinet that's in the kids' uh, bunk room, it needs more shelves to store um, the clothes on. Um, probably gonna put some more shelving in the medicine cabinet in the bathroom. Um, and we need- Shelves in our, our bedroom? Yes, yeah, for Heather's clothing. Um, just a couple modifications that need to happen to make it um, a practical place to live. Um, we are trying to do this journey without <coughs> having um, a, a storage Sorry. unit. So pretty much what we own is going to be with us all the time. There's a few miscellaneous things like the piano uh, that yeah. we got from my grandma. Um, uh that my uncle is well, going to like keep for us. Bed. And... Bed. Um, okay. Remember mommy sent up the plug-in? You gotta plug it back in. I didn't plug it in. Oh man, you gotta wait, okay? <laughs> that was Caleb. So, there's a couple of things that we, um, are going to give to family or friends to hold for us like the piano that my uh, was handed down to me from my grandma um, and uh, a couple of dressers and a desk that were special to my family um, and my special Christmas ornaments that are antique some of them are antique but they're pretty special to me so I don't want to sell them um, and is there anything that you're having somebody hold? Um, I'm not, well maybe hold, but um, there's a couple things that were given to me from my grandfather that I plan on giving back to my uncle. Um, he has the space for it and uh, I haven't really talked to him about it, but I'm sure he'd be glad to have it. Um, I don't know if we'll get it back or not, kind of too far ahead for me to think through right now. Um, so we'll do a walkthrough of our um, camper when things get set up. Um, I just wanted to give an introductory of what we're doing and why we're doing. And um, uh, we don't really have a plan um, for how long we're doing it. Uh, we do know that we're gonna go south um, for the winters and come back up here in the spring. Uh, we are hoping to um, host at campgrounds, um, maintenance host or camp run host kind of thing um, to help accommodate our living expenses. Um, and yeah, is there anything else? Um, I, I, my hope is that us sharing this with everyone is um, going to help somebody out there that's probably done like us and watch lots of videos of people doing similar things and, and just thinking, well, that's not quite us. Um, we just hope maybe somebody can relate to us and get something out of it that will help them in, in making their decisions or, um, Yeah, making their decisions about whether they want to go forward on full-time RV living. Um, one thing I noticed a lot of people that do it like to travel um, often. I don't know, there's probably lots of different options, but my hope is that 
we'll travel some, but then have some routes. Um, we're hoping to get at a camp post position um, in the state campground that's close to our home church and family. And that way we can have kind of have the best of both worlds of not being tied down to a certain spot, but also having roots in a community. Um, so that's our hope. Yeah. Anything else? I don't think so. All right. So, till we meet again. <laughs>